everyone, today I'm going to be doing my 2015 favorites and it's going to include all of my beauty products that I've loved for this year or I guess last year and then also some skincare products that I love, I truly love and I have a bunch of things so I guess we're going to get started but first I do want to say um, that I have a new ring light so hopefully the quality is good. I'm still fixing um, the lighting and just like all of the settings so hopefully the settings are good. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm sorry that it took a little bit longer, but <clears throat> the ring light took uh, more than a week to come, and then I got sick, and then I just got really busy, so, um, but now I have more time, so here's going to be the first video, it's my first video for 2016, so I'm excited to show you guys all of the products that I've loved this year. So I love the Angels on Bare Skin um, by Lush. And this is just sort of a exfoliator. It's like a face and body cleanser, but I feel like this is definitely mm, targeted to exfoliate as well because I don't know if you guys can see it has some like green. It's like very very loose. So, like when you grab it, everything just kind of like. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like I'm really sick right now. Um, so when you grab it, it sort of like has little grains. So like when you are cleaning and washing your face, you're also exfoliating and it leaves my skin super soft after I wash it. I don't wash my face with this cleanser every day just because I feel like it could be too much for my skin, especially now in the winter. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I really love it. I love the effect after I wash my face and my skin is super smooth and super soft and then the smell is just amazing so I really like this a lot I'm really stressed out <clears throat> over the summer and once again I'm really stressed out now and I'm breaking out a lot so I've been using these products once again um, but over the summer that's when I use them most and the first thing that I really uh, enjoyed this year or 2015 was the Agni Stress Control Triple Action Toner by Neutrogena and it's just a green um, liquid toner and this is my second bottle and I really like it I use it um, especially on the parts where I have breakouts so right now it's like my forehead and then I have some on my cheeks right now and I really like it a lot I think it's um, a really inexpensive toner that works and if you're breaking out and it's due to stress or just because you're breaking out I really recommend this toner product um, that I loved um, since the fall and I used to use this back in the day when I was like in my 20s like early 20s and this is the Mari Badescu drying lotion and I love this as you guys can see I've used it a lot just because I've been breaking out a lot again um, and yeah it's just a clear uh, liquid which you guys probably already know and then this pink residue and you just put a q-tip all the way down and then you apply it on your um, pimples directly and that's what I've been doing and it does diminish the size and it doesn't uh, what what's really good is that it doesn't let the pimple like kind of like get into that white head you know it just kind of reduces it and then you don't have to really pop anything so that's really good because you don't want to give yourself some scars and then you know the whole like nasty like you know white head look so I also recommend this. Mario Badusco products are amazing and I love it. I've been using them for years. So another skincare product is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. And once again, now that um, my skin is super dry, it gets really flaky right here in between my eyebrows, around my eyebrows. And then right here, really, really dry right now. So <clears throat> anything that is really hydrating is perfect for me and I've noticed that every time I use this, my skin just feels so amazing. My foundation applies a lot better. There's no flaky parts on my skin or anything like that. So I really, really love this. I really recommend this. Last skincare product is this Origins uh, Jinxing Refreshing Eye Cream. And I've had this. This is my second bottle. I've been using it for the past two years. And it's great. Um, I, it's like a pink consistency. Um, eye cream and I just like it a lot. Um, it moisturizes my eyes really well. It depuffs and it supposedly helps with also dark circles which is what I have and although I haven't noticed the dark circles um, per se, I do like how my eye under eye is always really moisturized because I feel like if I didn't use this then this part right here would be really really dry. I like how this product keeps this part of my face really moisturized and really well so 
yeah, really recommend this. One random thing for uh, hair, something that I use every day, and that is argan oil. Um, one of my favorite, um, I guess, brands is Rem Pure um, Originals Argan Oil, and it's in this blue bottle. I got it from Amazon. It's a really great deal. And yeah, I just use it all the time, especially like when I wash my hair and then I get off the shower, I apply a really decent amount of argan oil to keep my hair you know like really smooth and no reduce the frizziness as well so i really recommend this let's move on to beauty products and the first two things i want to talk about are of course foundation and i do have a drugstore and also a high-end foundation i've tried many uh foundations this year but my two favorite ones have been the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, for normal to oily skin. This was really great um, in the summer when I wanted to use a liquid foundation. It leaves my skin. Now, in the summer, my skin is still like oily but not super oily compared to other people who have oily skin. So this was just like a perfect in-between. Um, and it left my skin really um, not flaky or anything like that. And when my skin was super dry, I would combine it with this one, which is my high-end uh, favorite foundation, and that is the Makeup Forever HD. This is the original. I haven't gotten the Ultra because I still have this one right here, and the color that I have is N120. And I love this. I have it on right now, actually, and I like how it looks great when you're taking flash photography or filming. Um, I love the consistency. Not alone, sometimes it could be a little bit like too dewy for me because I am oily on some parts, and especially in the summer. So in the summer, I would have to combine these two, but in the winter, I can just wear this alone, and my skin will look really nice and, you know, really... Um, moisturized and dewy. I've been loving since I bought them. Um, I This is like my second bottle of the little mini MAC uh, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love this. I put this in my bag every day and since my skin has been super dry I just spray myself um, and it keeps my skin really refreshed and you know it doesn't look super dry and like cakey so I love this a lot um, I have the big bottle but I love the little travel size just because it's so easy to uh, take with you in your backpack and your bags other thing that I like is the strobe cream by Mac and this I apply um, before I apply my foundation and I just kind of apply it everywhere and it also helps once again with the whole dryness <laughs> that you know my skin is really dry so if you have dry skin I would really recommend it for oily skin I think you can target this to a certain parts because it does have some type of not shimmer but some like reflex of I don't know it, it gives your skin a lot more dewiness so if you have oily skin then I would recommend just putting it on certain places and not all over like I do in the summer I use the airspun um what is this the loose face powder uh, a lot because um, I would get a little bit more oily you know throughout the day so I wanted to set my foundation really well so I would use this and it's just a loose powder because I put it under my under my eyes to sort of give me more brightness because I do have really bad dark circles. I will apply this also to sort of set my concealer and it will look really great. So really inexpensive powder, really recommend it. I bought it at Walgreens and you can find it in different places as well. Another product that I liked is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and this is in Dulce de Leche. I talked about this powder so much and as you guys can see hopefully I've indented a lot on the brown powder which is the contour um, powder and I have it on today too. I have it on with a different powder that I'm going to show you in a little bit but yeah I use this all the time every day since I bought this I've been contouring my face every day and you know like for some people that might be too much but for me like every day I wear a lot of makeup and um, I mean I just love it so if you're the type of girl that doesn't mind wearing like a lot of makeup every day um, especially if you have like big cheeks like I do I think it really does help with um, cutting and making my cheeks have some type of you know bone cheeks instead of being super round um, so I really like this powder really finely milled and um, it is really it's not super pigmented where you like you know mess up and you can't really fix it you have to kind of like build it up which is something that I really like because <clears throat> for every day I don't want something to be super pigmented where you know you have like two like stripes of brown powder on your cheeks this is more like really easy to blend so I love it and then this yellow powder sometimes I apply it under my eye but most 
of the powder that I've used from this palette is the brown one for the contour. So I love it. You guys know I have the Kat Von D um, contour palette. But for some reason, I always go for this one. And this is only a fraction of the cost, which is like probably less than $5 or about $5. While the Kat Von D, I think it's like in the 40s. And I don't know if it's because of the size, but I just, I don't know. I just love how simple it is. And it's just a really great powder. It's really in the middle. It's not super cool. It's not super warm. It's just a really great color to contour. So I would really recommend it. Um, and yeah, I guess I had to, even though I have the Kat Von D um, contour palette, I always prefer to use this for every day. One of my recent uh, additions to my favorites has been the NARS Stephen Klein palette. And I actually love the bronzing powder. So like I've only been using this palette mostly for the bronzing powder which is the Laguna bronzer and that's what I have on right now too and I just kind of have it on a little bit not too much today but I've, I also like the blushes that you get in this palette but I've used the Laguna bronzer mostly since I got this and the rest of the powders very little but the bronzer is great I'm the I'm a creature of habit and I kind of have like all of the things that I wear every day and I don't really change it up. And even though I love blushes, I've been using the same blush, two blushes all the time. But one is a, like limited edition so I won't show you. But the one that is, you can still find, I'm going to show you and I just love that blush so much. So since I'm talking about that blush, let me just show you right now. And that is the Hourglass Ambient um, like 3. It's super dirty so please excuse the dirtiness of this palette, but you know when it's dirty is because you use it every day. So the Hourglass um, blush palette is like the trio palette. My favorite uh, blushes for every day, which I have them on right now, is the Mood Exposure and Luminous Flush. So the Mood Exposure is this really beautiful purplish um, brown uh, blush, and then this is like a really true fuchsia pink color and I just love mixing these two together and this is what I have on right now as a blush I just love how it looks on my cheeks it gives me really nice sort of luminous highlight as well and it's not like a really flat um, matte blush and it has a little bit more of luminosity and it looks amazing especially in the winter in the spring in the summer I just love it all the time but on to highlighting highlighting has been a really huge trend for 2015 and I definitely got into the bandwagon of highlighting and I have a bunch of different highlighters. I highlight every day for work, for school, so I love it. I have one that's really inexpensive and then one that's a little bit more high-end. So let's first show you the high-end product which is my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in of course Champagne Pop and it's what I have on right now. It's just a beautiful, 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 like, peachy, um, peachy beige highlight. And I have it on right now, as you guys can see, hopefully, if I move. I'm like, I don't know how to move so you guys can see the highlight, but I love it. Um, it's definitely, for some people, it might be too much for every day. And, like, for every day, I actually don't wear this. Um, sometimes I do, and I apply it very little just because it might be too much sometimes. But sometimes I'm just feeling it, and I'm like, hey... I want to look super glowy today at work. Why not? <laughs> so um, sometimes I do wear this uh, for like every day for work. But most of the time I wear it when I go out. Um, you know, for like just when I'm like hanging out with friends and just going on dates and stuff like that. This is just a really great, especially at night. It just looks really, really nice. So love this highlight a lot. Portable favorite highlight for me this year has been the e.l.f. Healthy Glow bronzing powder and this is amazing this is like a champagne beige oh my god it just fell on me a champagne beige more natural highlight for every day for someone who doesn't really want that whole shimmer but just kind of like that really nice glow as you guys can see it's gorgeous really affordable i think it's like two or three dollars and although the packaging is not the best the product inside is so nice so creamy not powdery at all it just looks really amazing so i would really recommend this um for every day if you don't want to look super shimmery like i do right now but you want more of a natural highlight then i would recommend the elf healthy glow 
bronzing powder. Moving on to eye products really quickly. My MAC Soft and Ochre Paint Pot is just my favorite to uh, use as an eye primer. Now, my eyelids are not oily at all, so this primer alone is perfect for me. Um, my eyeshadows last the whole day. It's just the perfect color as well for my eyelids. It's just like it matches my skin so well, so it's just great. And then another eye product that I love has been the Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio uh, Black Liquid Eyeliner, and I have it on right now actually on my eyes. Um, I kind of stopped using liquid liners and like putting and using like doing a cat eye for the very beginning of 2015. But recently, or since like the summer, I've been using liquid liner every day, and this is my favorite. It's so easy to apply and do a cat eye. Super pigmented, matte, black, just perfect. And of course, it's from the drugstore, it's also very inexpensive. Uh, it does last a couple of, maybe like three months, and then it starts getting a little bit dry. <clears throat> so I just love it. I think the fine tip is perfect. And it's just a really great product uh, if you liked to do liquid eyeliner and you do kind of struggle with it. This is just makes the whole process a lot easier. For mascaras, this is no surprise. I've been using this the whole year and they're also from the drugstore. For my bottom eyelashes, I love the Mega Length Waterproof Mascara by Wet n Wild. Now this is waterproof and when they say it's waterproof, it's waterproof. Like I've used this when I've gone to the pool. No mascara has come off. Love it. Very simple to get rid of when you try to clean your eyes, you know, with a <clears throat> an eye makeup remover. It's great. So it's not going to, like, tug on your eyelashes. It's not going to pull on your eyelashes or anything like that. Love it. It's just also really cute in a purple tube. And it's just perfect, perfect for the bottom eyelashes just because of the size of the brush. And, yeah, it's just like a plastic brush. But, like, I love it. It's, like, perfect to... Um, put mascara on my lower lashes and now another mascara from the drugstore for my upper lashes which is what I'm wearing right now and it makes my eyelashes really big and huge I don't know how it looks in camera but in person I got too excited <laughs> but in person my mascara just looks really great and people always compliment me and this is the best lash extreme volumizing mascara by Jordana I'm not sure if this is waterproof but I have I had no issues over the summer, any transfer on um, my cheeks or anything like that, or like right here, none at all. Um, I love it. It doesn't make my eyelashes super hard, so I think that it's not waterproof. But you're not gonna get any like smudges or any like raccoon eyes if you wear this the whole day. Even in humidity or like really hot weather, this will not come off. So I really recommend this mascara if you're in a budget or just want really lengthening mascara, this one is the best. So as you guys know, I have really bad dark circles, so concealers are like my thing. Like that's something that I have to wear every day and you know, I'm really picky with concealers because I have really bad dark circles. So my two favorite ones have been the Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer and this is in the color light neutral this is no surprise everyone loves this concealer it's just a really great concealer really creamy if you have um, like dry under eyes it's, it's not going to emphasize it at all now the only bad problem is that it's a little bit too like white for me especially in the summer so the color range is not the best but i still love it and especially to like highlight like right here it's just perfect when I go out at night and I want you know like more dramatic makeup and like to be more highlighted and more contour like I apply this in the V like form and my skin just looks great I look really highlighted and I just love it a lot the other more affordable concealer um, that is really my favorite and I use this pretty much every day is the Maybelline Master Conceal uh, in light 20 and this is just a really great consistency is really creamy it's really opaque, very full coverage. I have it on right now, and I actually have these two kind of mixed together right now, just so that you guys can see. And it's just amazing. I love it a lot. Um, these two concealers have been really great. They cover all of my dark circles. So if you have dark circles, and then I recommend these two. Favorite palette. Now, I have a bunch of different palettes. I have all of the uh, naked palettes. I have a bunch of palettes that I recently bought. But my favorite one this year, this year hands down, has been 
the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Oh my god, I love this palette so much. It smells amazing like cocoa powder. The eyeshadows are amazing. I, I actually have these eyeshadows on my eyes today. I've used, let's see. I used a milk chocolate, semi sweet, triple fudge, and a marzipan on my eyes today. So I have this on. I have this beautiful chocolate brown. I have this like more medium brown. And then for a little bit of highlight, this beautiful like pink champagne eyeshadow. This is just like an everyday perfect palette. You can do a smoky look. You can do an everyday look for work and it's just amazing. I love it so much. And hopefully you guys can see the beauty of this palette. They're really buttery. They're really pigmented. This is a really great quality. There's not a lot of fallout and it smells delicious. So what else can you ask for, right? So this is my favorite palette, hands down. And the first one is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't know why Siri thinks I'm always calling her when I'm like making a video. It's weird. It's freaking me out. Okay. So my favorite eyebrow pencil has been the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I have it in the color Espresso. Uh, I recently like dyed my hair but I still have like my roots really dark so I can get away with like a darker, darker eyebrow. But I love it. Um, it's really great to fill out like for every day. It's just really easy, very simple. It has a, you know, the product which is a really thin um, pencil and then it has a little brush. So you can just like, you know, brush your eyes, apply the product, very easy when you're on the go and you want to take this. It's just really simple. And then another product that I use when I want to make my eyebrows a lot more darker, a little bit more thicker, is the NYX Tame & Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. And this is in the color Brunette. And yeah, I love this a lot. It does dry really quickly, so I already have a back, out, back up. <laughs> um, but it's just a really perfect color for my eyebrows. I love it. I use it with a um, angle brush and it's just perfect. I don't have it on today because my eyebrows are a little bit more thinner today, but I did use the uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So we're almost done. Now I'm going to do really quickly my lips. Now you guys know that I've been loving buying different lipsticks this year. Lips are my thing now. I don't know. I just love all the colors. I like really you know, really bright colors, really nude, brown, liquid lipsticks are my thing. So I'm probably going to be showing you guys my favorite liquid lipsticks. I did buy a bunch of li different liquid lipsticks from Ofra and Stila, so I'll do that later. But today, I'm just going to show you four that have been something that I've been wearing like every day. Um, so, and also the range in the line. So it's not just technically the color that I'm going to show you, but also the range and the brand and yeah let me just show you guys the lipsticks my favorite drugstore product has been the NYX butter lipsticks and my favorite one has been pops explosive and it's just a gorgeous like nice nudie pink something that I've been loving wearing pretty much every day for work and school this year and it's just a really nice consistency especially if your lips are a little bit dry and chappy but you want color and like a moisturized lipstick this is it like the butter lipsticks are amazing I love it they also smell really good so I have it on actually today with something else that I'm gonna show you such so as the NYX butter lipsticks are amazing now what I have on on top of that is the Ofra long liquid long lasting liquid lipstick in Laguna Beach now I have a bunch not a bunch but I bought seven Ofra liquid lipsticks I love the consistency of these liquid lipsticks. I have Stila, I have uh, Sephora, but these are the most comfortable ones and when I want my lipstick to last a bit longer at work, I love using this alone or just on top of a lipstick or a lip balm and there is some type of transfer but at least they're more comfortable and they last longer than your typical lipstick so I love this this has been my favorite color once again it's kind of like a nudie pink I have it on on my lips right now so you guys can see 
and I just love it a lot. Ofra liquid lipsticks are my favorite just because they're so comfortable on the lips for every day. So that's one of my favorites. Now there are different lip, different colors, so if you don't like that color in particular, then you can of course get a different one because they have a bunch of different colors. Another drugstore favorite has been the Maybelline, what are these? The matte range. So it's like the Maybelline color statement matte lipsticks. I over the summer I love this one which is all fired up. It's a super bright, bright coral red lipstick. My lips look amazing. My skin looked amazing when I use this. My teeth look amazing when I use this. It suits a lot of skin tones. I just love it. And this range is also super creamy, super matte, and it lasts a long time. So I have probably like three or four other um, lipsticks by this line from Maybelline and I just love it. It's a really great lipstick. You can't go wrong with them. And then the last one um, is my Gerard Cosmetics uh, lipstick in Rodeo Dry. And it's just a really nice color for my lips for every day. Like every time I wear it, people always like ask me, or like girls, you know, always ask me like what, what I'm wearing on my lips. I also like using this with a gloss on top of it and it just looks really, really pretty. It's just a really nice everyday lipstick for work, for school for the daytime so I really recommend this lipstick a lot. These are all of my products for 2015. I know I had a bunch of products and I know that this video is going to be super long so I'm sorry but I hope this was helpful and I honestly love all of these products that I show you so I'm not showing you something that I don't like of course you know so I would recommend any of the products that I showed you um, and I did try to show you you know some higher end and also drugstore so you can choose what products you want to try. Um, let me know if any of these products are your favorites because I know that a lot of people love some of the products that I showed you and because they're just great products. So yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching and if you did like this video, don't forget to like it and if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe for more future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.